My name is Colette McInerney. I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> I am here in Europe. It's like one of my favorite places to be. Every year I come to Europe for maybe two or three months. Yeah, it's awesome. The climbing's awesome. Everything's so close. There's so much of it. You're gonna make it, man. You're gonna be all right. I primarily sport climb now, and it probably started when I moved to Vegas in like 2005, and there was a lot more sport climbing there than bouldering. I don't know, and eventually I like grew to love it, and now it's almost all I do. What route? Uh, Petit Tom, 8A, 13B, at the Berlin sector in Seuss. I also did this route, Petit Tom, which is uh, 8A, 13B. Yeah, just another beautiful line on the Berlin wall. Really hard boulder problem, followed by like endurance climbing to the top. <laughs> and then it was like, I don't know if this is classic Seuss or classic me, but I just proceeded to epic on it, I felt like, for weeks. Seyus is incredible, right? And uh, everyone knows it. And so in the summer, it is quite a scene and there's a lot of people around. Just a bunch of really talented climbers and really inspiring climbers. What a cool little place, huh? And I was climbing with Jonathan Seagrest a little bit and he was super motivated and doing like this training all the time like before climbing and after climbing and so uh, yeah it was motivating to be around that you know it got me pretty psyched. I'm learning from this guy. I never done a push-up until yesterday. It's getting better all the time. <laughs> Five years ago I realized that I wasn't really content just climbing every day, which I think some people can relate to and some people might think that's crazy, but for me I needed other things and that's kind of where I found like photography and, and filming and it's been such an incredible balance for me with climbing and traveling. Is that how you do it? I'm gonna take two days off and try to come back and do my project. And if I don't, maybe I'll just stay in Seuss for another month so I can do it. <laughs> I did a route this year called Makash Fualu. It's a route that I tried the last two times I was in Seyus, like one, like three years ago and four years ago, or whatever, when I was there. But it was more of like kind of a mental, like going back to an old project that was kind of above me at a time and, and kind of finally putting it to rest.
what it should feel like. <laughs> Oh. But it's okay because it's down there, not there. It was a really, really different experience than my prior trips. And it was awesome. I felt like kind of like a different climber. Like I had my I had grown a lot in terms of not really just my ability, but maybe like um, my mentality around climbing and it was really a really cool experience to get on things that I thought I would never be strong enough to do and actually be able to do them. Yeah.